Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another episode of Plague Inc. Evolved, the early access Windows version of the popular cell phone game. Today we do our second to last scenario, who cares? Increased popularity of reality TV in rich country distracts people and stops them caring about disease outbreaks in poor countries. Reduced funding significantly impacts the surveillance, the surveillance capacity of poor countries and limits their ability to identify and respond to natural disease outbreaks. Who cares what happens to poor people? Oh, arguably, this has already occurred, but okay. Let's try the virus. We're going to just play it on casual. And let's see, we'll call it the who cares. Was it a question mark or not? We'll just put a, nah, we'll just call it who cares without a question mark. The who cares scenario. You're a virus to win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out humans. Well, I am betting this isn't gonna be that difficult. I would going to bed. Yeah. This is really one. Of Some scenarios seem pretty obvious that they are designed to make it a lot easier to win. Some scenarios seem pretty obvious to decide to make it more difficult to win. So the official scenario stuff isn't really a well-defined path. Um, the only real path in it was we had to do the Black Plague first before we could play any of the other scenarios. Um, if you were to redo this game, you might want to level, make levels where it's like a scenario is every fifth level, um, and then in between that, you let people pick or you tell them they have to play as the specific uh, style. Um, I think the ver if they put it so that level 1-1 one -one of Plague Inc. was the easiest of the easy scenarios so that people could learn how to play the game and then there was a run where it said here you go we're going to have you play the regular game with no real modifiers and then another scenario pops up after that run and then they start throwing some modifiers in and then another scenario, and they, they just kind of integrated it and made a straight path. It might help a little bit. Um, because a lot of these scenarios are just easier than playing the, the average game. But some of these scenarios are a lot harder than playing the average game. So when am I supposed to play the average game and when am I supposed to play the scenarios? They take it almost exactly the same amount of time. There's so it's two separate things because they were created created at two separate times, but they they need to be reshuffled, reintegrated. And since the scenarios often want you to play, oh, the way it's set up here is it wants you to play a lot of these scenarios as every single type of. Um, Plague, stacking that would help if they said, all right, here's the scenario, we want you to play it as a bacteria this time. And then 10 levels ahead, they play you, have you play the same scenario, but this time you play as a virus. It'd make a lot of sense. It, there could be a whole chapter for bacteria, a whole chapter for virus, a whole chapter for fungus, and just keep going and keep going down that way. Go 
going a little slow. Let's speed this up. Aja has mutated. 18. Seeing probably not as many. No, I guess that's the average amount of boats and such. 20 DNA for uh, bio aerosol. That's what this is, right? Extreme bio aerosol. So, with the who cares scenario, they may never discover this disease until it hits us rich country. I guess I want to start putting stuff in the drug resistance. I've never really been a fan of doing drug resistance too, but the past couple of uh, Mega Brutal things have had me put DNA into it, so maybe I should rethink my approach. New Zealand becomes rich. Do genetic hardening. Why not? New minor disease spreading, which is now it's discovered. Do a little bit of more genetic hardening. 30 for a second. That is a lot of DNA. Just for oh, time to pause. I am really kicking myself that I did not realize I could pause. I've made this game harder on myself this whole time. For no reason. Walking Dead combo. Countries are not infected is the question. Uh, the Caribbean and the rest are the only ones I really am too afraid of is the Caribbean. If we can get that one infected, we should be fine. Let's see, this, this, this. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I'm trying to get the spread up as much as possible. 27 for necrosis. Come on, Caribbean. Wow, total organ failure just mutated. That is early. France begins to break down. That is, Caribbean is the last country to be, that needs to be infected. This is the point of no return. There we go, we have the Caribbean, we have 80. We want to get infectivity up. Now let's see necrosis. Causing infection. Trying to get infectivity up more. Do I need to do anything else? Let's see. Tumors. Systematic infection. what to pick. I'm gonna just leave everything at where it is. We have lots of DNA. We're just waiting for the rest of the world to be infected. It looks like that's about to happen. People are dying like crazy. Oh no, there are no healthy people left. 
left in the world. Okay, well that fixes that problem. Got all the symptoms again. Nice. We can start just throwing things into genetic reshuffle. Which who really needs to? This was really easy. This should be like one of those scenarios where it's just like um, the very first thing it asks us to do. Um, this was really, really easy. Which of course, it would be easier, and it kind of is easy, it's too easy by my standards to allow diseases to spread in poor countries, because nobody cares. Not enough people care, not enough rich people care, let's, let's be more accurate. Poor people in America can care and sympathize all day with poor people in uh, third world countries. But if they don't have the funds to donate to a charity that's actually going to accomplish something, which a lot of them don't, a lot of the charities do not accomplish any goal and are fall closer to scams than actual uh, charities, um, it's not going to help anything. You have to have rich people like Bill Gates who the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation fight against malaria all the time and other diseases. That he's rich, he's spending his money trying to save the money, save people. He's gonna accomplish something. So, if you want to donate to a charity, I, I guess maybe you can donate to them. I don't even know if you can. Um, but rich people need to care. Not. Poor people need to care too, but their, their, their pennies aren't going to do anywhere as much good as, as rich people's millions. Anyways, that's 348 days to get to Complex Cure. I only got to 7% for this virus. We got 75,061 points and 3 biohazards. So that was our second 3 biohazards. So volcanic ash seemed easy. Who cares seemed easy, and those are the only two we got three for. It, it kind of is a pattern here. Black Death was the very first one we did. Uh, Ice Age is the only one I'm seeing here that we only got a one star from after Black Death. Then everything else is two stars, and then these latest ones have been three stars. So maybe we've gotten better at the game, or maybe the last few are just easier. These are in alphabetic order, but some alphabetic order, I don't... Doesn't make a lot of sense. It's, it's not quite alphabetic order, because if it was, Black Death would be at the bottom, right below artificial organs. Uh, they're in some weird order. <laughs> some of it looks alphabetic, some of it doesn't. Anyways, last scenario we have is xenophobia, which might be a difficult one, but we will do that in the episode after next episode, because next episode we are going to try the fungus on Mega Brutal. That is going to be an interesting one because there is a good chance that if we beat fungus on Mega Brutal, that will be enough by the game standards to under unlock the Shuffle Strain and Lucky Dip Strain, and then we would have all of the cheats unlocked. Uh, which means we would have, as far as I know it, everything unlocked. We have 100% of the plagues unlocked now, 100% of the genes unlocked, and while the scenarios say only 15% complete, I'm calling it at done after we do this last scenario because they the reason it's 15% is they want us to play every single 
thing like this over and over again. Uh, scenarios needed to be introduced a lot earlier at the very beginning of the game and more prevalent if that was really how we should be playing. Should we have only, uh, as soon as I got these, uh, each plague unlocked, which remember this whole path, we started, we could only play bacteria. We had to beat it on, uh, I believe, normal to get, uh, virus, then we had to beat virus on normal to get fungus, and so on and so on and so on. Then we had to play all of these several times to unlock more genes. We remember the simian flu stuff. Um, most recently, we had to play several times. And in all those several times, if we were also doing a scenario and those overlapped, that would have been great. But it doesn't work that way because when you choose a one of these it's not going to unlock anything at least I never saw it unlock anything maybe it would and I just played poorly if it do does uh, that's really bad on me and then we have speed runs which uh, not gonna do the speed runs it, you get the idea. It's just going to be play as bacteria and see how fast you can do it. That's all the speedruns are. Uh, anyways, that's the end of this episode. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. If you want to follow or friend me on practically any social media, I have links down below for them. If you want, thank you for watching. Have a good evening.